Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I gotta speak softly because Kate's in the other room. I don't want to spoil the streak for people that might be watching her stream. We're at 40 wins. That's really exciting and we're back at the top of the, of the loop with an Eden run that starts with a shovel because of course it starts with a shovel. We always start with a shovel. And shit HP, which is actually a little dangerous here. So let's look at our seed. This is D80S4F0D. One second, I need to try something. It worked! I could mute my microphone while I coughed. Fantastic. That way you don't have to deal with whatever that gross coughing noise was. Um, we start with the shovel. Oh, that's so good. We start with the shovel every time as Eden. That's just the law. Uh, we also picked up the mind right off the bat, which is great. This is, this is the scariest Eden run we've had in a little while. We have no HP. A few spirit hearts. Sister Maggie, which is not a, a great offensive or defensive coup, obviously. Looks like a bad rate of fire made somewhat better by the fact that admittedly we do have Sister Maggie, which I just shit-talked like a second ago. But it really seems like this floor could actually be exceptionally dangerous for me. Uh, if we can get some HP or somehow like an enormous damage upgrade, then that would be awesome. Barring that, we might be in a little bit of a tricky position here. I'm a little scared, but you know, if we fight the haunt this time and we manage to make it through it, then we're not going to fight the haunt on the next floor, so... We can be reasonably assured that we're probably going to be in a, a safer position. Alright, so we'll just sneak in back here. Having a uh, vision of the secret rooms doesn't do too much if you don't have any bombs, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll be able to tackle that fairly soon. Maybe even <clears throat> after this specific room. Okay, that we really can't afford to take that damage. If we get down to one spirit heart, things get very, very scary for us. One key. Okay, well now that we have a key, we can actually access the... Uh, shop and maybe pick up something. Two cents. I think we fight the boss before we explore the other rooms just in case we take damage. We can make a more informed decision either way. Alright, so the Widow is is probably next to the pin, like our ideal boss fight here. Or just pin, not the pin. You know what I mean, though. Um, very low HP. I really thought I'd killed that spider. That could have been bad. Um, very, very low HP. In fact, I think the, that uh, the Widow actually has the lowest starting HP or the HP, not starting HP, but the lowest HP of any of the starting bosses, I guess is how that sentence was originally intended to come out. Now, we obviously have a little bit of a problem with crowd control. That's, you know, something that is very likely to happen when you're basically doing zero damage. So we, oh, this is bad. This is like the perfect storm of, uh, of bad Eden starts here. But if we can't get over an Eden start where we start with, you know, two spirit hearts and not amazing items, we should... You know, keep it in perspective a little bit. But I am... I'm frightened, man. We got no HP. We got Speedball. This is looking like probably... I don't want to say <clears throat> the scariest Eden Star we've ever had. But probably based on the, the gravitas associated with the fact that it's attached to the streak. It's a scary Eden run. Hopefully we're on the basement next. Or hopefully, you know, that's what I'm hoping for. A couple of pennies drop. We get the ability to access the... Uh, uh, the secret room or the... No? Alright, we're out. Never mind. I was also hoping that maybe we'd have the opportunity to uh, use the shovel again. Maybe get a crawl space and pick something up, but no such luck. I'm going to save our key. We might be able to go into the shop and buy a bomb, but I don't know what we're going to do with it except go to the second secret room right now. So this is very scary. It all comes down to not taking damage like immediately. At least we're on the basements. And we're one bomb away from being in a really, really good position. You know what? I'd really rather... Are you... Look, I'm just gonna say, are you fucking with me? No enemies? I, I want some enemies. Maybe I should be careful what I wish for, though. Alright, well, there's another tinted rock back there, but we're gonna need a bomb first. So there's no way of getting around it. First three rooms here, no enemies. We gotta do big room. This is okay. Uh, I hate the bomb flies, though. So we'll just kind of try to keep ourselves over to the side here. We could try to push him up towards the secret room. I think the odds of that actually working out the way I think it would are are exceptionally low. Yo, dude. Oh, you just get pushed! Isn't that cute? You just get pushed by those spikes. You don't actually get killed by them. That makes a lot of sense. Yo, bomb fly. How are we gonna do this, dog? It's up to you. I'm not, well, okay, I'll tell you what. Boss rush is canceled for today. Any minute. Are you gonna push him back inside of the rocks? Please don't do this. No bombs. No bombs, OTI. I need you to 
come up, please. There we go. He's up. He's up. And he's up. And he's in. <laughs> I can't do the. I can't get in there. I really do not want to, like, have to shoot this guy right next to him because he'll kill me. What do we do? We actually sit here. I, I check my email for 25 minutes while we wait for this guy to get out and then immediately get pushed back in by the spikes. How did this even happen? I w oh my god, we almost made it happen there. I actually want to like quit and restart. That's that's where I was at there. I wanted to restart the entire run because of that jerk. Okay, but we have item room shovel coming up. Please, please, please drop a bomb. And don't drop it in the middle, you smarmy bastard. Okay, we got the item room. Item room is book of secrets. Book of secrets, I don't know. We already have the mine. I have to imagine that the shovel is probably better for us. And this is just hopeless again. Okay. Well, we shoot all these, <clears throat> hoping to pick up a penny or two. We got one, so I'm not going to complain too, too hard. That one penny can make a world of difference if we get to five cents and can then buy a spirit heart from our shop. There's another key, so shop access is now um, very conceivable. Things become exceptionally bad for us. Oh, bombs? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will take this, though. Um, things become exceptionally dangerous dangerous for us if we uh, get to the next floor without having any extra HP, no extra damage. You know, th this becomes a real issue for sure. So that's another five cents for us along with whatever we get here, which was thankfully a bomb in addition to a spirit heart. So at least temporarily we've dealt with our uh, one of our problems, which is the lack of HP. We could easily lose uh, some here. And who knows how these guys react after the bombs break, you know? Oh, we can't do anything here. Uh, we'll wait for these spikes to go by. And then we'll just follow this next one around like so. It's very unfortunate that we didn't get a payout from that one, but that's okay. You know, maybe that golden chest will be worth something for us in the future. For now, it's not. But life goes on. I'm just happy that we have triple the spirits ar spirit arts we had recently. So we want an easy boss followed by... Uh, oh my god, and there was another tinted rock right there. We want an easy boss followed by a deal with the devil that gives us HP, which is actually conceivable. If we get, well, literally one item. <laughs> nine lives will give us red hearts. Um, not nine lives, ceremonial robes, the packed mark will at least keep us alive, but it's debatable how, how much value that holds for us um, if we lose HP in the process. Ceremonial robes, great, but uh, the mark, we lose one spirit heart. The pact, we lose... Oh, sorry, the mark, we lose two. The pact, we lose one. So it's it's up in the air. Okay, I don't need to buy a bomb if you're just going to give me a bomb here. That's way better. Still buy a bomb to get to the second secret room, which I may actually do because the chance of getting an eternal heart is, is meaningful for us right now. But we can also maybe get to the second secret room just by killing this guy on the other side. If I can just goad him over here. Thank you. And we'll do it again. Get him to come over here. Over here, please. Excuse me. Over. You've almost got it. It actually worked, and we got a ton of bombs out of it. I can't believe it. Oh, and we got a live bomb in there, which I guess is fitting. Monstro. This should be totally easy, and we should not have to use a bomb. I'll save our bombs. As Although it seems convenient to use them right now, I'm going to save them just in case we end up fighting uh, Krampus. Because if we fight Krampus, we are really going to want some kind of extra damage and bombs will do that for us. Krampus relatively easy to hit with bombs because although he's somewhat mobile he doesn't like teleport or jump or anything like that. He, he largely uh... he has speed but he follows a, a pretty set path. Well I mean he he moves but he doesn't move in unpredictable fashions completely. Not as much as a lot of enemies. Anyway this is largely irrelevant. We're just gonna beat Monstro which is in my opinion probably the easiest boss that we could possibly face right now. Maybe even more so than Pin. He says as he takes a full spirit art of damage and possibly ruins his deal with the devil chance. I didn't necessarily want to take it. Our rate of fire, I think, is lower, and we didn't gain HP. I was really hoping to gain HP. We can't take it. Just can't be done. So I think, actually, we encountered some of the only... We wouldn't have taken Rotten Baby probably anyway, just because it would have been tough. But I think we got, like, one of the only setups that actually made our life worse. It's blowing my mind. Then we got experimental treatment there. Um, let's go check out our regular secret room. 
Man, this is a this is a tough one. I thought our woes were over there, um, but I appear to have been mistaken. We're just gonna continue with it. More flies. I am gonna go back and open this golden chest because my philosophy is they can't fuck us forever. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm, okay, that was good at least. This is an extremely challenging run. How the heck are you supposed to get out of here? Okay, so we got 11 cents. Was there anything good for sale on that shop that we could have purchased and, and been happy about? We're about to find out. Still, I you know, normally by this point, you're at the... Oh, red candle. We need to get it. I'm sorry. We, uh, hopefully we can get it. We should be able to. Uh, we're at the juncture where normally on an average run you'd expect to have gotten past this we barely got it um like you'd expect to have damage or hp by now we really have neither we have a key though and now we have red candle which is good damage but man this is a very very tricky uh, eden run and i know i've been harping on it it's a very very tricky eden run over and over and over but this is a, this is tough man this is uh, scary, you know? Oftentimes, we'll have one or two deal with the devil items by now, and we'll be like, well, the game is not over, but definitely in a good position for us. We're also, if you if you wanted confirmation that this is a tough run, we're ten minutes in, entering the third floor. So, normally we're at, like, five or six. Six, probably, if we're being more realistic. Uh, Book of Shadows is good. It's not good enough for us to take with zero damage, though. We're actually, for the first time in a long time, hoping for deals with the devil. We're hoping we get a deal with, or sorry, a deal with the angel, sorry. People are probably like, what do you mean, for the first time in a while, you're hoping for a deal with the devil? You hope for a deal with the devil every time. Um, yeah, we're, we're hoping for angel deals because we can't afford devil deals. Explain to me, explain to me how uh, the fire went through all three parts but only killed one of them. And then the same for this, except this time it was two. I'm, a, I'm very confused by this. I was also a little scared there. Um, I'm a little wary about going to the boss fight this early, because if we do get a deal with the devil, and this time I did mean devil, we still won't be able to take it, but I guess we just gotta kinda throw caution to the wind. We might never get another spirit heart, or we might lose more spirit hearts by the time we get up there, so... Or by the time we get back. We got a double pin fight, so my thinking is... Uh, Try to red candle whatever one is like most easy to red candle and just stay away from the the trajectory of the other one it almost worked there oh that would have been a sweet opportunity for red candle there we go one is gonna be dead pretty soon i think oh it was a little dangerous if i can get them to jump through the fire it should make my life even easier there we go one is dead i'm very happy with our performance here that was perfect. We get synth oil, but no uh, no deal with the devil. That's okay. No deal with the devil, no deal with the angel. We can live with it. Ah, eh, you know what? Let's try one. Let's hope we get a key out of it. But we didn't get a key. We got something even better. We got a spirit heart. Which may allow us to continue to, to live on this run. There's something to say about that. At some point, I'm still waiting for that moment of relief where I can be like, whoo, you know, we can take a deep breath because we're in a good position on this run. The synth oil pickup is nice. Probably compensates DPS-wise for that tears downgrade that I think Experimental Treatment gave us. By the way, I'll take full ownership for Experimental Treatment. You know, we didn't need to take that item just because it was there. I took it, and it could have just as easily given us a reward as a penalty, so... I, uh, I... It was a risk. I'm not gonna blame the game for that risk. Thank God we have the mind, at least giving us, like, a little bit of hope. That we can get something from our secret room, or at least improve ourselves. Unlimited keys, it's nice. We can't do anything with the key beggar, but I like unlimited keys. We can now open this, and a little bit more money. So our shop is now potentially becoming viable. Uh, let's let's do full exploration. I mean, obviously we want to go to our shop. We want to go to our second secret room. Let's go to every room though, if we can if we can swing it. I didn't want to be in the middle here, but this should allow us to get even more of a chain reaction. Perfect. And I really have to say at this point, thank fucking God that we picked up uh, Red Candle. Were it not for Red Candle and Lucky Spirit Heart drops, this run might be, uh, I don't want to say beyond saving, because we did get the Mind, which is a lovely item. But it would be much more difficult to fathom a win 
short of uh, short of them. Because even if we had our, our previous... That was dumb. Even if we had our previous tier stat, which I do think was a little bit better, unless I'm misremembering. Uh, not that it was amazing, but it was a little bit better, I think. Uh, synth oil is good, but it's not good enough to be like, hey, finally, we're out of the woods. We have synth oil. Like, I like having it. It's a good damage upgrade, but it's, it's not a, a super game changer by itself. Red candle can be. It's not guaranteed, but uh, it can be. So definitely... We want to say fuck you to that room. Lots of empty rooms on this run. Which I guess I'm I'm thankful for, if I have to be honest. Let's stay away. There is a tinted rock over there. I don't know uh, if we're able to... We might as well give it a try here. I thought maybe somehow that could create a bridge. Two of clubs, so we'll uh, put this down and then two of clubs. So we have two bombs left at the end. Second secret room is an eternal heart, which is extremely helpful. Our first HP, three floors in. And our shop has Black Candle or Bogo Bombs. I uh, I think Black Candle is a great pickup, and Steam Sale makes it way easier to get. We can actually get Black Candle and Bogo Bombs. So I'm going to do another one of these, because I want to get Black Candle, Bogo Bombs, and the Spirit Heart. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. We traded our last bomb for an opportunity to get, hopefully get way more bombs in the future. I shouldn't have come this way. Could have just as easily gone the other direction, but... Uh, Whew, I'm, I'm breathing a very slight sigh of relief. We are not in a good position, but it keeps getting better. Probably. Of course, the enemies continually get stronger as the game goes along. But for the first time on this run at all, we have HP. That's a sad sentence. We have uh, good future prospects from shops and BOGO bombs. It's no uh, humbling bundle contract from below, but it's it's a helper. We lost a full spirit heart there. Let's try not to make it uh, one and a half. Hmm. <laughs> we gotta try. And let's uh, take the pill when we get in here, too. Thank you for not being a tears downgrade. That would have been a disaster. All right, red candle is like the perfect counter to mega fatty. And even though our damage sucks, it doesn't matter because red candles is beautiful. Are you gonna jump? I'm not gonna jump. All right, pretty much landed that shot perfectly. My jump here, nope, no jump. We wanna make sure we're not like hitting him when we should not be hitting him. This is perfect, and then Mega Ma should find itself in a difficult position here. We could have walked backwards as we shot that for a little bit longer uh, effective usefulness, so let's try that, and that worked a little bit better. Try it again, so simple walk backwards and then land the shot, should still be firing, but our rate of fire makes it so bad in relation to our actual uh, red candle damage that it seems a little foolish. It's okay. We still got 6 HP and we actually have a red heart in the process now. Amazing, I know. That's enough money to buy something from the shop. We have to get into it first, which is not possible without a key. You'll have to forgive me. I would love to be talking about some absurd, you know, fast food related shenanigans right now, but... Not every run is, is suitable for that, and right now we are definitely in a dangerous place. As we have been the whole run. How do we get out of this dangerous place? Magic mushroom wouldn't hurt. Paralysis <laughs> easily could. What is it? Red Candle has like a weird uh, like lag time associated with, it, with its actual ability to deal damage that I've never noticed before. Until it was extremely dire, I guess. Most of the time you're just like, Red Candle, we win. Not this time. Alright, I, I do think we fight the boss right away. See, like, I, I feel like it should have blocked the shot from the left side there. And that's not just me being a, a scumbag and being like, oh, I shouldn't have taken damage. Because we got shot from the right side, so that's that's on me. Um, but I feel like it should have blocked the shot from the left side. But man, I'm mistaken. I'm, I'm definitely mistaken. There's no maybe about it. You know, the enemy hit us. I'm clearly mistaken. Please. Thank you. Okay. This would be a great time for a really good deal with the Angel. Oh, this is... It's beautiful. We've been fighting the Fallen so much lately. And I always love it. Oh, what the... Something paused the game for me there. And my computer started making a weird noise. I guess that's like... I don't know. It, it's, it's getting a little old. At least it didn't mess up the frame rate. Hard drive's going like... But it's not the... That it does... Sounds like a cat in heat. But it's not the... That it does... 
when it's, you know, a hard drive is about to fail. It's just a kind of a louder noise, probably indicative of failing in the future, but not today. Hopefully. We got Death's F in Touch. That's huge. Plus the miter. Look, I'm a sucker. <laughs> there are decent strategic reasons for doing what I'm doing, but I'll admit that most of the reason I'm doing this is is for sport, you know? Is because it's funny, and because, you know, absurdity has really benefited us on the streak. So if, if absurdity benefits us, I'm gonna embrace it. Plus, Red Candle, uh, hard counters fairly immobile bosses. And the, the Angel is mobile, but it also spends a lot of time standing still. It can be mobile. Oftentimes, it chooses not to be. By the way, Death's Touch is not a... Uh, what's the opposite of a death sentence? I mean, a life sentence is not the opposite of a death sentence. Um, it's, it's not a guarantee that we're going to live on or win this run. It does help, and the piercing shots are so good, and the damage upgrade is so good. However, we need more. But this is a huge help. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that it's not. The fact that we can actually use our tears effectively is a, a big change over what's what we've been dealing with recently. So I'm very appreciative of this. Red candle will occasionally block our own shots, but that's you know it's up to me to not shoot at the red candle whenever possible. Thank you, and we actually got a dime out of that. Of course, we still have no ability to access our uh, shop or item room, so I'm hoping that we can turn that around. This could be a great situation for us. I need spirit hearts, I need trinkets, I need consumables. At the end of this, I'm going to be honest, we're blowing you up anyway. We're going to play until 7 cents and then we're going to make a decision. Maybe I blow you up hoping for a key that can get us into the shop. Oh, Burkano rune. Nothing wrong with that. It's Oh, that's very helpful as well. And actually, there's probably a case to be made for the crystal ball, but I don't think I can do it, and I mean that honestly. Uh, I don't think I can get rid of Red Candle yet. Damage is too critical, and we don't have any of it. We, have, we don't have enough. Okay, I'm not going to completely misrepresent it. But we can always make a decision at the end of this floor if we, if we want crystal ball. Uh, I am going to try here, maybe, three mushrooms. Two mushrooms. That's all right. If the best we could have done is two, then so be it. I really wish I'd kept the bomb, because we can now open that. But anyway. Uh, save the Burkano rune, which is never a sentence that inspires hope. You know, if it's important for you to save the Burkano rune, you're probably in a little bit of a tricky spot. Um, however, I, I can't stress enough. Death's Touch, so good. And the Miter, I didn't even talk about it, but the Miter is potentially a game-winning item. It, uh, the, the Spirit Hearts that it generates makes it so I don't have to take Crystal Ball or die. Like, it's not a, it's just a binary choice there. But, again, th this is still up to us. We, we still have shit tiers. Extra bombs means we can open that golden chest now. Pretty much gotta set, like, a trap here for this guy to take down, and then we can deal with his friend. Still absent a key, but I'm assuming with one of these bombs, then we can, you know, access the golden chest. Accessing the golden chest might allow us to get a key, and getting a key will allow us to access the item room, or the shop, which will allow us then to access the item room. Have you gone cross-eyed yet? I'm getting there a little bit myself. I can't believe we're in 21 minutes, Catacombs 2. If I told you I got Death's Touch for free on this run, you would probably be like, oh, this is like a one run and a half right now. No, no, no. No such luck. Much trickier one. So we're going to get one... Mushroom attack here, and unfortunately that didn't do it for us. Didn't give us anything, actually, but we still have one bomb with which to open the golden chest. And please, if there is a benevolent force in the universe, don't make me do every room on the floor and then not pay out with something. It doesn't have to be a key if it's, like, fate. I don't like that very much. Time to go. I'm sorry, item room. I'm sorry, shop. I guess that's our penalty for uh, getting Death's Touch on this run, huh? Can't open anything else. It's okay. Um, if this had been, like, last floor and we didn't get an incredible damage payout, I probably would be a lot more nervous right now. But because we did get that damage payout, all is at least temporarily forgiven. If we end up winning anyway. Trying to land that there. And, you know, you can see that our damage still sucks. But largely, our damage stat is okay. It's our ability to deal damage that's shit. 
as a result of, um, eh, that could be useful, but as a result of, uh, our tier stat just being god awful. So, of course, we're taking nine lives in this situation. It costs us nothing, and uh, we stand to gain everything. And all of a sudden, we actually have a key. So, I'm thinking probably our best opportunity to use this key is on the shop. Normally, I don't get too picky about it, but normally you can expect more key drops than uh, one every two floors. Or zero every two floors, as the case has been. Let's try to blow up these skulls. It's still a very, very tactical run here. You got no chance, man. You might as you should have stayed in skull form. Well, could do something to that, but I don't know if it's worth it. I know I said we were gonna go to the shop, but instead I'm gonna go to the item room because I can't be trusted. So Virgo means exclusively not bad pills. It's a start. I'm hoping, and I'm assuming, you know. I'm betting on the law of randomness being somewhat more benevolent than it was on the last floor and assuming we have another key coming, and we did. And even if we fight greed, that's okay. Just don't give me a steam sale. If you give me money, that's great. If you give me a steam sale, it's completely worthless. We already have one. That's the worst. <laughs> Normally with Red Candle, you expect to be able to hit one of them. Maybe two of them if you get super lucky. Take them out and not have to deal with this bullshit right here, because that was the one in the middle that I was shooting at, but hey. Miter paid out with the Spirit Heart right after anyway, and yep. Well, if there's anything to be gained from, or to be uh, said about this, it's at least I was right to go to the item room with our only key. At the start. Unless this guy pays out with something that I don't think it's possible for him to pay out with. Like a Perthro rune plus a Steam Sale so we could reroll it into some good shop item. It's alright. Virgo also gives us that occasional invincibility, which could be important, but could also be... Basically worthless. Really hoping for another angel room here. We got nine lives, so I mean the guppy dream is something I can embrace, but it's it's too late for that because we've already taken a key piece. So our precedent, as high as it can possibly go for angel rooms, is is already there. Please. Thank you. Take him forever here. You know what? Just give us raw damage upgrades, man. Give me sacred heart. And another eternal heart. That's pretty close. If I ask for an Eternal Heart, maybe I'll get Sacred Heart instead. <clears throat> but I gotta be careful, because the Angel Room actually could give me a couple of Eternal Hearts. But actually, for once, I'm not gonna be a sniveling little baby about it. Getting some uh, Eternal Hearts from the Angel Room might actually be a positive thing for us. Considering uh, that our HP is still really, really low. The Gate is not worth this Percano Rune, as far as I'm concerned. You never want to find yourself in a posi position where uh, the Bracano Rune is such an important part of your damage dealing process, like a one-off, few spiders, few few flies, um, but I can't deny that it is, and I'm happy to have it, you know, it's not like I'm sad that I have the Bracano Rune, I'm, I'm just, uh, it's unfortunate that our damage is such that it's not really, uh, or that it has to play such a principal role. I appreciate this, Virgo, you probably saved me from completely screwing myself, we get Caffeine Pill, we only get Not Bad Pills, you know what, fighting the Angel Statue is a good reason to pop Bracano, I think. And we get the prayer card, so our HP is going to be set right from the get-go here. Um, but we definitely want to keep Red Candle. Hopefully we'll get some Spirit Hearts back here. Yeah, we did. Okay. We should probably blow up the other one, too, because we have the Miter. Maybe we'll even get the Angel Statue in the process. Oh, that was extremely good luck. Alrighty, then. Still got hit, because of course we did. But at least we came out of that one... Uh, looking a little bit better. So we have 2 HP now. Caffeine pill gave us a range upgrade and a speed upgrade. So it's not great, but it's not awful. We'll do a little bit more exploration because we have to. And this run is still not even close to 1. Uh, we're we're lacking a lot. I'm not going to fight Mega Satan unless I think we can beat Mega Satan. Now, I say that every time. We end up fighting Mega Satan every time. But I mean it sincerely. For real this time, guys. No Mega Satan unless we can really do it. And we can't right now, but it's it shouldn't be too hard to get synergies that make it workable, you know? But we gotta actually make it happen first. It's not nice to take, uh, you know, five shots against these enemies to actually kill them. Only three against the non-champions, but who cares about the non-champions, man? We're on hard mode. It's gonna be champions as far as the eye can see. Pretty good aim with red candle. We're done? We are done. 
We gotta try it, because, you know, if we get more Guppy items here, it's our only way to become Guppy. Thank you for that stunning insight, John Madden. Man, must suck to be John Madden, except for the whole, like, being a millionaire part. Spend your whole career, you know, talking about a game you love, introducing it to new people, and you're most known for, A, a football game, which is and nothing to sneeze at there, that's very prestigious. Madden is an incredible force in the industry, whether you like it or not. And being kind of, like, simplistic with your commentary, but not simplistic in an accessible way, but in, like, a self-evident way. He dedicated his life to the game, and this is the thanks that he gets in return. People like me who don't even watch Monday Night Football shitting on him just to get, like, an easy laugh. Three? Please only three. A lot of skulls to blow up here. That's perfect. Okay. Bring it on. That is a lot of damage to be taking in a situation like this. Paralysis. Thank you. It's only good pills. I didn't even see that tinted rock. But we got small rock out of it. Which is probably the best thing that we could have asked for. And the High Priestess card is fine. And... Sometimes you get a, a tinted rock. Or sorry, a spirit heart on there. Two High Priestess cards. Man, oh man. Alright, well we're done with this. The small rock is a really nice help. Bosses... <laughs> I can't believe this, but bosses have not given us HP, tears, or damage this entire run. Can you believe that? There's a stat and a half. Little Chow, or Little Chad, sorry, that's not Little Chad, Sister Maggie. Sister Maggie is carrying the nine lives head instead of the key. I think we got like a weird, I don't want to say glitch, but you know what I mean. We got like a weird interaction there. That's kind of funny. Alright, so we got an arcade and a boss trap room. Obviously, we got to take advantage of this. And we can continue to play this. Blood bag would be so good. Virgo invincibility lasts a long time. Not long enough, apparently. Wanted to break that off probably a little bit too early, but just in case, of course. So we're looking for guppy items. Uh, Pandora's box is very intriguing. The pills are good as well. We have Virgo, so I'm happy. But um, Pandora's box is a little scary. We're on depths two, so it gives us only money. So the only way to win is to take it with us. The question is whether or not we gain anything from taking it with us when we'd be losing Red Candle in the process. We'll look at uh, those batteries if we ever get like a, a book or something like that that we can actually benefit from having them. But uh, yeah, this is, it's a scary situation. I don't really want to give up, that was not a good bomb, but we'll cut our losses. I don't really want to give up Red Candle for two items or an Angel Room item. Which is the, the only payouts we'd be happy to get at this point from, from Pandora's box. So, I think that we're better off probably just ignoring it, or I guess using it for money on this floor, but... Let's try this room in a different way than I normally do. We got a big enough hitbox that I think we can like stand up against the wall here and still put out the fires. Yeah, that's the way we should be handling it if we got a large hitbox here. Like stand right up against it and just extinguish them. Now we've only got to worry about skulls. Don't exit through that back door. That'll be a big mistake. This is the last enemy. Okay. Now we got a good moment here. I can't believe how methodical I've had to be on this run. I also can't believe that this is like... we. I don't know if I've been sabotaging myself, but we've had like a lot of really, really tricky runs kind of stacked up in a row here. I'm very sorry about this judgment, but you gotta go uh, to give us a better deal with the something chance. Even if it's a deal with the devil chance over a deal with the angel chance, that's fine. We've already gotten the key piece in case we wanted that. We got Fool, we got Hermit. We can see everything on our map. Um, I don't know, why don't we like take the Hermit card and just see what we can get over there right now. We got the money for it, for sure. You never know if we might want something out of it. And there's a, another decent financial haul. Um, we got the Bible, we got the piggy bank. Definitely, we might as well buy like a lot of stuff here. We can pretty much use it all. Yeah, the paralysis pill especially is a real coup for us. Uh, we will take the Bible. I know we could use this with the, um, the batteries that are on the ground, but mostly we're taking the Bible because now we can take the Rosary without the Bible showing up. So, I guess we don't need the money from Pandora's box. It becomes a simple... I, we probably didn't need it anyway, but it becomes a very simple mechanics decision. What's better, Pandora's box or Red Candle? If our damage gets better, we could make a good case for Red Candle, sincerely. Oh, that's not very smart. Uh, if our... <laughs> So stupid. If our damage does not get better, we cannot make a good case for Red Candle. But there's a Guppy item. What's better, Red Candle or Guppy's Head? Again, 
I like, uh, I like Red Candle when we have shit damage. So this is, you know, we got BOGO bombs, so we're gonna pick up BOGO of them. It doesn't really <laughs> make any sense at all. You'll forgive me, my, my mind is, uh, swirling around right now with strategies that we need to employ to have a chance of winning. Getting a lot of black hearts helped out. Ramming speed is pretty terrible, but it looks awesome. So we have used Guppy's head, right? I just want to triple check that we haven't just completely forgotten about it. How's this run? Ask me in uh, in 20 minutes, I think, is the answer to that question. This is fine. I'm not actually that concerned about fighting Super Greed. I'd rather not, of course, but... You know, if we can get through without getting hit, it doesn't really matter. Pick up money that maybe could benefit us. And the thing with Pandora's box is it's a hard item to have a discussion about. Because people are going to be like, well, it could give you Sacred Heart. True. It could give us Holy Water. Well, it could give you, you know, Squeezy and Magic Mushroom if you use it on the Womb 1. Well, that's true. And it could give us, you know, Mom's Heel and Mom's Panties. Like, it, it's it's very variable. No one is wrong in this situation. Whether or not it's, it's more useful to have it is something that we can... Or, like, to have that over what we have right now is something that you can kind of at least have an intellectual discussion with if you know the probabilities of, of everything uh, that can come out of the pools. However, uh, mostly, like, there's there's no right or wrong answer for now. It's, it's all based on... Well, it's poker, right? The right decision in poker isn't always the decision that ends up working out, mathematically speaking. Guppy. Let's just hope for Guppy. That, that makes my job a lot easier. Wow. Two different farts there. Too many farts. Still takes us a long time to kill an enemy. So I think I'm going to stick with Red Candle because it's the safest option. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet on safety right now. But with nine lives, I am frightened uh, that we don't quite have enough damage and we're going to end up with eight lives of kind of just being in limbo. That helps, probably. But we do have a, a, a devil or angel chance here that could turn it around a little bit. We do have uh, Virgo that could help us out a lot. We do have Red Candle. It's extremely helpful. We got Red uh, Mom as well. Please, just like... I know we're not going to get it here, obviously, but just some good boss items, man. So I think my goal is actually to leave as many fires open as possible. And then just have Mom fall directly on top of them. You know, we, we've got uh, Virgo invincibility from time to time anyway. Able to get out of the way of that one. That should be it, I think. Okay, we got another angel room. Please give me an item. Sweet. Fantastic. Flight and HP. Look, it's, it's maybe not that incredible. We can use Hanged Man now just to get it out of the way. But it's good enough. It's good enough. Not to win, but to contribute to a win. Now we have a passive ability to fly. And let me again, I've said it enough, but let me say it again. Big ups to uh, the mind, which is really, really helping us out on this run. Solving a lot of problems that I otherwise uh, might not have been able to solve. Our rate of fire still sucks. Our damage is still subpar, even with the, the upgrades that we've gotten. Small Rock and Synth Oil and Death's Touch. Mostly, again... This is buoyed or sunk by a terrible tier stat. It has not gotten better in a long time. Can't take a shortcut through our secret room yet. This is interesting. We can get a lot of invincibility plays here. So we will. I want that pill. Range. <laughs> How many range up pills are in a rotation? So, uh, I don't want to play the judgment, even though we have money. Because... I want to blow up the judgment to kind of, again, keep artificially raising that uh, kind of evil stat or whatever you want to call it that facilitates a deal with the angel or devil. Or just a deal in general. Um, I want to keep buoying that artificially to give us a chance at getting more deals than we probably should get. And it's it's working out right now. And the holy grail pickup is, is a huge part of that. But we need a bomb if we're going to blow it up. So, you know, we might as well take our time on this floor for now. It's working out, man. Honestly, we've, we've made good progress here. I'm surprisingly pleased with where we're at on this run, even though, you know, no items have really taken us over the top. 
Seriously? This is a, a testament to how little damage we're doing. Two bombs. Okay, so we'll blow up the friendly judgment. Sorry about that. And we'll probably go into the second secret room. The reason we're going to do it uh, like that is because that second secret room could have a bunch of red hearts in it. Speed up. That, that's good. The secret room could have good stuff, but it's more likely that the second secret room at least has items that allow us to play demon judgment more. But again, it's, you know... Some of Isaac's strategy is based on probability. Not all of it. Some of Isaac's strategy is based on probability. So that's where we're at right now. Now we can definitely um, go to our regular secret room. Come on, just give me a full red heart. I appreciate the spirit hearts, but the red hearts are valuable here too. Look, he's going to pay out. We could have just taken one heart at a time, but this guy is going to pay out if we continue on this track. So I'm thinking we can probably take two at a time just to save us on the backtracking. Got a little money out of that. And we are about to fight the... It's probably not the right way to go. We are about to fight the boss here, so... We should be aware of that. Oh, we got invincibility from the first play here anyway, so we get an extra long, like, uh, Virgo invincibility. Mom's toenail is not what I want. We are still invincible, but now we are not. Okay, well, we got one pill out of it. That's not great. And it's paralysis, which is terrible. You'd be expecting... Uh, well, I was expecting growth hormones, but... You know, I would have been fine with uh, Roid Rage. It would have been fine with Ceremonial Robes. It would have been fine with any number of things that we did not actually get. This is good. Um, I'm really, really glad that we picked up Holy Grail. Because pretty much if you can fly, Mama Gertie cannot hit you. As long as you can get out of the way of these, which are pretty easily dodged. You know, relative to other enemies in Isaac, at least. You know, Red Candle helps out as well. You know, a nice little blocker there if we need one. Um, doesn't block all the shots, but a significant enough amount that we can feel good about it. All we need to do is not accidentally extinguish it. And our life is easy. That's gonna be our last item right there. Evil range and shot speed. Uh, <laughs> our tier stat is lower than it was when we started the run. That doesn't happen all that often. We do have a double key room. That's very interesting. Sometimes with these guys... Oh, that was bad. Well, we're done, basically. Um, well, like, the, the room is done. We're not done. We're still very much alive. Um, doesn't often happen this way in Isaac, but uh, we're in a very interesting position. I'm not trying to oversell this as if this is, like, the most difficult run I've ever had. But the, the stakes are pretty high. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Oh, this is very helpful. The stakes are pretty high, and we do not have a super one run. Despite having a lot of traditionally, you know, helping items, we don't have uh, a run that I would describe as easily won. Forgot we could fly. We can totally hide out over these rocks if we want to, or these gaps. Um, but we're very close. Like, if that curse room, which we can get into for free, contains a guppy item, this is over. Even if it's still, like, as of us becoming guppy, not going to be that, that powerful, which I feel bad saying, but... It's true, because our goddamn rate of fire is so slow. What about our mini-boss? Lust is a, an okay mini-boss to fight. We'll just force it back through the fire over and over. Maybe even throw, like, another fire at it. I didn't mean to put a bomb down there, but if it gets the job done, then more power to it, I suppose. Speed up. I'm, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy for the consumables as well. You never know when one of those golden chests is going to contain something that makes, uh, you know, the booty go pop. You never know when something is going to make the booty go pop. That's a Mark Twain quote, if I remember correctly. It's from A Tale of Two Booties. A tukus carol. I don't know what tukus means. I mean, I know what it means. I don't know where it comes from. I just use it because it sounds interesting. There's, like, no word in the English language, which I don't think it is. Um... Because the English language is dignified. We don't talk about butts, booties, slam pieces, cabooses, derrieres. I guess that might be French now that I think about it. Uh, let's check out this. No counterfeit penny, please. I'll just take these just in case we get money equals power. I, I kind of can't believe it. I think we go for the, the full invincibility. And we're guppy now. This is great. Uh, we should be 
in a uh, that luck up helps a lot too we should be in a very very good position again i don't think it's super one but i i have a hard time imagining us losing now which is probably like the definition of a one run but we're not quite like a hundred percent there yet but we're, we're probably very very close Chariot card. What's better? Chariot or bad gas? That's an easy decision. I'll leave you at home to figure out which one I went with. Guppy's paw. Very thankful for it. And I, I went for the the obvious invincibility. Instead of the occasional invincibility. Oh my god, give me Cricket's head. It would be so good. Oh, you are the wrong kind of head for this part of the game. But it does seem very, very likely now that we'll be moving up to 41. And that's, that's pretty staggering. And I gotta admit, you know, when we were at like 15, I was having a great time. Oh, I'm never gonna die. Now I'm, every run is like, you know, an old man raging against the dying of the light. And I'm like, I don't know how much longer I can, I can put up with this, you know? I don't know how much longer I can, I can continue to, to fight the good fight here. Might as well take this up. The Angel Statue gives us nothing now. I'm not gonna fight Mega Satan. This is, I'm still somewhat hesitant in my confidence regarding this one. Um, I'm extraordinarily thankful to have become Guppy on a run where we didn't get any Guppy items from Deals with the Devil. This is not what I meant to do here. Um, that is, that's just staggering. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, I don't even know what you can give me except for HP. Why don't you just try to pay out with HP? You might as well. If we can get some consumables in the process, then even better. Goathead will not give us a payout here, so... Well, I'm, I'm thankful for that, I suppose. Give me a golden chest, maybe? More bombs is not bad, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Okay, I mean, that's also excellent. It's getting a little silly now, I'm giving you 25 cents. Ex extra keys? I mean, yeah, okay. We probably won't need them. I mean, we have we have a uh, master of unlocking, but you know, mostly at this point, having given you thirty-one cents, I'm just hoping you pay out eventually. No, all right, well, eh, do do this too. You're from like the devil seed of uh, of judgments. And, you know, half the time I would kill for this kind of judgment, and we don't get it. We are now ridiculously at forty cents. Maybe it's based on how many judgments I killed earlier in the game, and then you pay out with HP. So just a waste of time. I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be taking raw liver. I've forsaken it as it forsook me earlier. Uh, why am I not going to take it? It actually is debatable. We could get up to like 4 HP if we took that and the other HP. Well, look at it at the end of this. I like the permanent Polaroid invincibility. I think it makes us safer than 4 HP. But if we start losing spirit hearts so we're not at the HP cap and we're not going to be pushing spirit hearts out of the way by taking these items, we might want to give it another try. That's not a guarantee. Just a, a possibility. Must have been a tinted rock in there. It could be the right decision. I would love to get a deal with the devil. Like, take raw liver and that HP upgrade and then get a deal with the devil on the next floor. The odds of that happening are about 1 in 32 trillion, though. So, I wouldn't uh, bank on that one happening anytime soon. So, we have an extra spirit heart thanks to that tinted rock from earlier on this room. Again, effectively does very little for us right now. Except make it even more... Unlikely that we'll get uh, the uh, raw liver in the HP payouts. I have no sentimentality towards raw liver anymore. For a while, I was like, it was the last item we needed for real platinum god. Yeah, so fuck it. It was what kept us uh, waiting for so long. Any day now. Man, I would kill for a, a sad onion pickup. For real, man. The fact that we're firing like one scythe a second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. We're firing like every two thirds of a second. You feel free to take that, rewind it back. Northern Lion got the arithmetic that makes me go, huh, really? Yeah, okay, that kind of checks out. He's off by a few decimals, but that's all good. Nothing wrong with it. Money equals power. Here's, here's my dream payout. Cricket's body, money equals power, sad onion. And then the fourth item is undefined. <laughs> the limit does not exist. No, we'll, we'll try Chariot here. Even though we were just at the tail end of our invincibility anyway, we gotta get rid of Chariot at some point, you know? 
It seemed like as good a time as any. Our flies, they're not quite as garbage as I was previously led to believe, but not really holding it down either. We got a couple spirit hearts here left over that we can take. I am playing a little bit more lackadaisical than I should be. Lackadaisically? I don't know. I don't, uh, what am I, an English teacher or something? Not too likely that we'll uh, be able to reliably get him to spawn on top of our freaking fire, but... That's okay. And should sell it. Oh my god, our damage, man. One magic mushroom or cricket's head away from greatness, but uh, we're not quite there yet, are we? We'll go back and get full HP down to the chest. This is going to be a very... It could even be over an hour long, which is funny. Normally those are train wrecks. This one's not quite a train wreck. But it's it's a couple items away from having been a train wreck. So, you know, thank you to RN Jesus as well for the, the help that it's given me. No curse. I like it. There's Mega Satan. Blood of the Martyr does not give HP. But that's the only item in here that I actually like. I'm... Just, Go ahead. If you're gonna, you know, say that the video sucks because I'm not fighting Mega Satan, you might as well prepare yourself. I prepared you for it adequately leading up to this point, I think. I told you I wasn't gonna fight Mega Satan unless I felt 100% confident. To be honest with you, I'm amazed that we're alive as is right now. And this is not like, well, go fight Blue Baby and if you still got good HP, go fight Mega Satan. Nah, dog. I'm cashing out. <laughs> we, have, we have rarely been comfortable on this run. And we're going to survive. We're going to make it out. That's enough of a victory for me. I don't need to beat Mega Satan for like the eighth time on this streak. You know, life goes on. Maybe we'll fight Mega Satan next time if we have the same opportunities available to us. We'll cross that bridge as we come to it, so to say. We've, we've found the bridge and we've decided, you know what? I'm just going to take the ferry. I'm going to wait till the morning. I'm going to take the ferry. This bridge looks dangerous. Again, placed the bomb one room too early. Got a little ahead of myself. I always feel like I'm bombing too early. Doesn't really work. Well, I don't have the voice for that song to begin with, but... This should allow us to skip a bunch of rooms, and... Oh, my keyboard broke temporarily there. <laughs> Thanks for the HP. Thanks for the range up. And the lover's car. Oh, oh well. That's okay. We got, um... We got Blue Baby's number. It's F-U-C... K dash Y O U. Don't try to call that number. Someone probably owns it. They're going to be displeased. Okay. Are we done? We're almost done. Spoonbender, just in time. Paralysis. Oh, go fuck yourself, Paralysis. How often do we have Fark and Paralysis here? Okay, so Samson's Chains is not 100% reliable at blocking. Uh, the shots, because they can still curve around as they very nearly did right there, and then did do right there. Um, but it's still, it's quite good. Pheromones makes no sense to use, but I use it nonetheless. And every time we get hit, we have enough of a period of invincibility that I'm like, we're, we stand no chance of dying. We're not gonna die. This was not an easy run. Well, that's one way to get around my defenses, I guess. This was not an easy run, but we made it work. That's going to be 41. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.